Len, you're in a perfect position to help me with this really important question. You're a physicist and a cosmologist, and you really understand how the universe works, and you've, of recent times, focused on consciousness and really trying to understand that. And so a question that arises is, as this universe evolves, is consciousness something that had to have happened once you have the Big Bang initial conditions and the laws of physics? If you put it that way, I, I would have to say yes, because it obviously did. So the laws of physics are bringing us there. So, I mean, once, once the universe got past the early universe, most of what happens in the universe is pretty much governed by classical theory and general relativity. And it's deterministic. And so the fact that we, that we have evolved with consciousness is, is an indication that the laws are bringing the evolution of the universe toward beings with consciousness. Well, I'm not saying consciousness is programmed into the laws of physics, but I'm saying that if you study the way uh, matter evolves in the universe, and that's a long story of how the stars form, the heavier elements, the, the sun like ours with the planets, with, uh, with organisms. I mean, that, that is a natural, that's all the consequences of laws of nature that we understand pretty well, and it obviously leads, leads to beings like ourselves. If you would go back and replay the tape of um, what has happened, run it a second time, not mm -hmm. replay what happened, but go through the prize a second time. Would, it, would the same result occur? It depends how far back you go. Well, as far uh, back uh, as you want. Well, if you, go, if you go start where the universe is governed by classical uh, yeah, physics. After inflation, when... Yes, yeah, so after quantum fluctuation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's going to happen again, because the, uh, if you have a physical system, you, you go back, so the universe is 13.7 billion years old, so let's go back to when the universe was uh, 10 billion years ago. Uh, you have another system that's exactly that's identical to the way to what our universe was back then, and it will evolve in the same way. Let's try to disaggregate this problem. Certainly, in the first very small part of the first second, when quantum mechanics had its role, there was indeterminacy. But once that stopped and inflation stopped, you had, and you had a classical universe. You're saying that because that becomes deterministic at that point, everything would happen exactly in the same way. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, and even if it happened in a slightly different way, I, 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 I mean, even if you didn't set it up exactly the same, it, I don't see any reason that, I mean, it, it, it seems that it, it, that it would follow the same sort of well, natural uh, path. Biologists would certainly say that the, uh, the uh, emergence of human life and, and primates is, is, is certainly not something that was absolutely written into the, 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 uh, the biological laws that if an asteroid came at this point rather than that point, we would have a totally different uh, situation. You're, you're talking about the determinism in terms of the, of the, of the flow, what, what happened. Is that, it, it, how did those two play together? Well, in, in classical physics, it's, it's deterministic in the sense that Laplace uh, voiced many uh, well, around 1800, which is that if I have in the, the state of a physical system and I know all the laws and I'm able to calculate, mm -hmm. do all the calculations, unlimited uh, right. intelligence right. and knowledge, right. I can tell you the entire future and past of the system. Right. So, and is that true in, that, in a universe that, that has that obviously... Doesn't, even the universe is complicated, as long as it's not a quantum universe, that's true. But it, our, our universe is a quantum universe, at least... Uh, on, a, at, on the atomic right. level. But, but on, on the level of the... the uh, items that we're talking about, you can describe it uh, ma macroscopically, it, it's, it's not. So you're sitting here, uh, quantum theory tells you maybe there's a chance uh, and yeah, I'll find yeah. you out there, but right. not in your life, <laughs> right. not in the universe's lifetime. But will, will the quantum uh, fluctuations in any way change the probabilities of what happens in the future in some way? Well, that's a difficult question, but, but uh, I mean, it depends on what level you're talking about. But from our macroscopic world, it's not going to change uh, the star, uh, you know, the, the the, the, the orbits of the planets, whether an asteroid is going to hit us or anything, anything like that. But I mean, you probably mean your question on a deeper level, is it, is it somehow written into the laws of nature that we're going to have consciousness? And forget about what the initial conditions mm -hmm. or the early conditions mm -hmm. of our universe was, right? Mm -hmm. You're trying to, to, to investigate yeah. whether, whether the, the laws of physics have encoded in them some kind of consciousness, right? And um, I, I don't think that they do... Uh, explicitly have, have any component that, that is leading toward consciousness, but I think that, uh, and this is a matter of faith with me, it's actually one of the few things where I, I feel that I don't, 
I don't have any evidence for this, but I feel it. Oh. I feel that the, the, the life on this planet uh, and our uh, conscious life of, uh, of human beings is replicated elsewhere in the universe. So I, I do believe... When you say replicated, you mean... Uh, not, not exactly, but oh. I mean there are other intelligent... Right, there's right, aliens, right. intelligent right. aliens right. elsewhere. Right. I have no reason to believe that because all I can do is I just feel it. I can see that we are, and, it's, and I can see the universe is huge, and it's hard to believe that it's not somewhere else. But the right. truth is, if you think about it, I don't really know. Because what I don't know is what are the chances that a Earth-like system with a sun like our sun or some, some other system that could per perhaps produce life, but I know that ours can. So suppose I find out what are the chances that it will? So suppose I find another sun, there are many, like our sun, with a planet just like Earth there. That doesn't mean that the right things will happen to produce the first unicellular organism right, that evolved right, to us. Sure, sure. What we don't really know, we know pretty well how evolution works, so we, I, we can take life from the first unicellular organism to humans. We don't know is how did the first molecules of heredity and, and the proteins and enzymes that, that are needed for a cell to be a, you know, it's a living thing, how did that first come together? I mean, there's the old... A uh, Yuri experiment, uh, uh, you know, if, if you put lightning into this <laughs> oh, primordial yeah. soup, you'll get, you know, or, organic right. compounds. Right. And I think today we have a pretty good understanding that you can get RNA-like compounds from the same, uh, in the same way. But the question is, can, can, will, will a cell, the first cell, spontaneously form? Is there a mechanism for that? And how, how possible is it? So if you have, or how frequent is, will it happen? So if you have 100 billion uh, uh, stars in, 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 in our galaxy, let's say, uh, and maybe, I don't know, I'm just throwing numbers out, maybe 100 million of them are suns similar to ours, and maybe a million of them are, have Earths like ours, I'm just throwing out numbers. Well, if the chances are much better than one in a million, then there's probably other intelligent life in our galaxy, and if the chances are one in a trillion, then there probably aren't, isn't mm -hmm. another. I don't know that, whether it's right, one in a million right. or one in a trillion, I just know that, right. that we're here. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we're here doesn't tell me much about what the chances are because it just tells me the chances aren't zero right. because, uh, excuse me for using Bayesian reasoning, right. but the fact that I've observed that we're here already means that, yeah. that, that, that if it ha you know, wh wherever it happens, no matter how rare it is, the yeah. people who be are the products of it are going to see that they're there. Right. So that doesn't tell me much. So I don't really know whether there's other aliens and whether consciousness is, you know, how likely consciousness is in the universe. But I do believe that, that, that it's just a natural uh, phenomenon that does occur in other places based on the way stars and planets form and, and uh, all the chemical goop that ends up on the planet with the uh, lightning or whatever it takes. Many biologists would say that the transition from non-life to life is maybe difficult but understandable. But the most difficult and uh, improbable one is from simple life to intelligent life especially to self-conscious life. That's what many uh, evolutionary biologists would say, mm -hmm. that the things that can happen to, to, to run that off the rails are so enormous that that's, that's the tough part. That, that might be, and, and we don't, I don't think we know enough to say what the probability of that is. Mm -hmm. But you don't look at the universe as being something that is uh, by force having the, the, the uh, teleology, the movement towards consciousness built into it. Right, I'm very allergic to teleology. And, <laughs> you know, uh, physicists weren't always that, that way. It, it, so in science, we, we keep the principles that work and we discard the ones that don't. I mean, Kepler, who analyzed the motion of the planets, believe that the planets followed the, their elliptical paths uh, on purpose because they, they, they wanted to obey the law. Right. So scientists in the past have, have accepted this theory, and, and um, Aristotle believed that, and, and many philosophers believe that. But today, science, we'd have no, scientists don't believe that because we haven't seen any sign of it. We haven't seen any reason to believe that. So, so I've never seen a, a, any sign of purpose in any physics experiment. We never have to put it into our equations to predict what's going to happen. So I don't tend to believe that there is some purposeful evolution of, a, of consciousness in the universe.